Hey there, everybody. We're back, and we're going to call this episode five. So episode five is going to involve us doing some cleaning of all the parts that we took off of the bike um, in order to get to the air filter, the fuel filter, and look at the fuel pump. So let's just turn this around and show you what we're working with. Okay, so today we're going to be cleaning and detailing the dash and the pockets on each side I have most of the other parts on our table over here so we're going to be doing the stereo the little um, I'll call it little winglets that go on the inside, the two pockets, and then of course the left and right pocket covers. If we have enough time, we are also going to detail the seat, the backrest, and the passenger backrest and around the speakers and the cubbies. We're doing this because we are still waiting for parts. Once those parts come in, we will get back to the mechanical. Anyways, we'll show you some before and after pictures. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's been about three and a half, almost four hours that I've been polishing the smaller plastic bits that we took off the uh, bezel of the dash and also the seat, the backrest and the driver backrest. So let me show you what it looks like now. Okay, so there is our stereo. The center bezel, the pieces that go on the left and right underneath the uh, bars, the pockets, screws inside so I don't lose them, the leather cover for the left hand side pocket, and the plastic cover for the other side. Now, this center piece had this plaque on it from the previous owners. And this plaque showing all the states that this bike has been to and all the Canadian provinces was on this one. So I guess I'll have to get my own because I'm going to return these to the previous owner. How did we get all this clean? Well, soap and water to get the grime off and then Meguiar's Supreme Shine High Gloss Protectant. And the key to doing this, as I saw in a video from Clifford Rice, is to use a paintbrush and you swirl it to get into all of these little crevices and then you wipe it off. Worked awesome. So let's show you the saddle. The saddle looks brand new. There's no marks in it. The cushioning is great and for the saddle we used a product called Mink oil. Conditions, waterproofs, all genuine man-made leathers. I've used it on my leather pants for years. Let's go over to the bike. There is the driver backrest. All done. And 
the passenger backrest and the stereo, stereo cubbies. I'm missing a door on this one. I have it on order. It will be coming. And then the back. Looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. Let's turn around. So, now that all those little pieces are done and the saddle is done, uh, the next thing we're going to do is tackle the dash on the bike and that'll be for later tonight. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's been two and a half hours. I've now got the front of the dash done, the handlebars, and the front of the bike. Let's show you what it looks like. I'll also insert some pictures in case you don't get the full view from the video. Okay, so handlebars, front, the other handlebar, speakers, top of the dash, the other speakers are cleaned up really, really nice. And we'll go around the front of the bike. We've cleaned up the boots around the mirrors on both sides. Shined up the front. We got rid of the um, 3M stickies here that were holding the shield for on the front of the um, headlight. And unfortunately, I see that we have a crack here. We have a crack here. And we also have a crack here. So I'll be replacing those three eventually. However, the lights work for right now. So for right now, it'll, it'll get me down the road and we'll do it in the winter when we're doing the rest of the cosmetic work. I also shined up the chrome on top of the fender and the radiator grill. So that's it for today. And tomorrow, we are going to work on the underneath of the bike, try and get some of that tar off uh, from years and years of driving down the road and not cleaning it. We'll see you next.